Rogue Glide Challenger. Challenger Rogue Glide. That's crazy. What is up, peoples of YouTube? I am the Motorcycle Mick, and today we are out here at Spartan Cycle doing a test ride. Ooh. On the Indian Challenger. Ooh. The gym is up to drift Okay, now that I can talk normally. We are doing a test ride on the new to Indian Challenger. The 2020 Indian Challenger Challenge, they have a Rogue Glide they have. This the Challenger, they have a thing where you can come up and test. Ride the bikes. Ooh, this is smooth. So, that is nasty. All right, we need to adjust the mirror. Oh, whoops, that is not adjustable. I do not have viewing behind me. There we go. All right, so we are doing a test ride on the Challenger. And I will say this thing does have the Power Plus 108. I know I've talked a lot of crap about Indians, but I'm not drinking the Harley Kool-Aid anymore, honestly. This thing is a monster. Just taking off there, it feels way different. The pull it has, it is amazing. This thing does have a bunch of great features. It does have a windshield that goes up and down. And we're going to put that back up. It does have the fixed fairing. Oh, the thing is mean. The controls feel a bit weird on this bike. It's like uh, one's angled more down than the other, but that might just be a certain thing. But it does have, so it, anyways, I'm getting way off topic. This does have the fixed fairing. This has a power windshield. Ooh, those brakes are tight. I've never felt such smooth shifting on a motorcycle. And it's heavy, but it's not. Oh, it does have a locking gas cap. It does so now we're at a stoplight. Does this have the GPS on it? The GPS is awesome. It does have all the other features like all your information for your bike, navigation. Ooh, that's smooth. What I do like about this, it does have a compass. Your phone can connect to this bike without with having a sun on it. If you have a sun on a phone, it can connect with your phone without having to have some stupid thing that Harley has. It does have the compass. I know it's weird, but compass is nice sometimes. It's got your range on there, fuel mileage, and the range up there. Is a speedometer in attack. And I like how it starts. The bike starts with the push of that button. This thing is monstrous, though. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. The suspension is smooth, and the seat is smooth. I will say, for like a factory seat, this is comfy. But I've ridden a Rogue Glide. I have. I've ridden a Rogue Glide, and I know what? I was that kind of person that was drinking the Kool Aid from Matt Leva and all them just being like, jump on India and jump on that. But like I said, or, but this, okay, let's be honest. This bike is made by Polaris, okay? Think about that. This is not the Indian of the old days. This bike is owned and made by Polaris. What that means is it's not supporting those old bastards that created the issues of back in the day. What we're doing is starting a new, what did I just hit? That's got to get used to. It does have the blinkers on one side. This is something I do have to get used to.
But this thing rides so nicely. Oh, 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 man. It corners like a dream. I, I, I don't even know. This is like insane. That was fourth gear and this thing hauls ass. It does have the windshield too, so if you want to adjust it while riding, it goes up and down. See that? Look at that windshield. Up and down. I love it. But this bike is not boring. Like, I, I, I can ride a freaking roguelite all day. I could do it. I mean, I, I've ridden them before. You guys have seen me ride the roguelite before. But this bike is super, super fun. It is lightweight, easy to throw around. It corners so smoothly and then takes off after the corner like it knows what it's doing. The engineering behind this motorcycle is insane. It makes my bike, like I have a 2018 Heritage with a 114 and this Power Plus 108 makes my Heritage feel slow. And to think about that is the ride comfort too, the ergonomics. The way the handlebars are set up is so that the bike is ergonomic and comfortable to ride and really fun to ride. And they also have accessories and stuff for it. Still have to get used to this. This bike has so much to offer and I don't want people to be blinded by the whole Harley gene. Uh oh, this will be fun. We are going on the highway. So you guys get to hear how this bike sounds on the highway. Man, for a big bike, this bike corners like a mile. Oh my. Uh, there's no words to explain how that feels. This thing is monstrous. I don't even know, like. Now, there are some things that do make aftermarket windshield, so it might be able to go over a little bit taller windshield or with more of a flare on it. This is an aftermarket one already, which I'm already a taller person, and I believe they have a seat that sits you lower too, so. They already have, they like, this is the bike that came out with a bunch of accessories already for it. It's not like you gotta wait. That's the biggest problem, it's hardly releases a motorcycle and then you get away for accessories. And honestly, on this bike, you don't need them. It does have a 100 watt audio system standard, which I'm not gonna dink around really that while we're riding, but I'll show you that when we get back. But the way this bike rides is a dream. The comfort level behind it, those new freaking inverted forks on the front, make it feel like it's nose like this bike is meant for going quick and cornering and having fun this is a bike you take to the tail of the dragon and go have a blast because honestly even at the side like people look at it and think it's it is a stretch bike it's stretched like a victory that's why i told you earlier and it's stable it is super stable cruising though like I, this, you could ride this bike for hours, honestly. The comfort behind it is second to none. And this is, okay, so right here, this exit right here, 240, anytime I'm on 94 on the bike, this is my favorite exit because of the way it turns. So let's, uh... How does it corner like this? How does a big ass bike like this corner like my heritage? This doesn't make any sense. The logic is flawed. Oh my God. You gotta be careful with this bike. What What is even, I gotta get used to that. That's something that would take you used to is having the turn signal on one hand.
but the way this bike rides is insane. There's so many different features. I'd probably get the seat that lowers it because it's a bit tall. I honestly would probably put a set of mufflers on this bike and ride it. There's there's so many problems that we run into where it's like with the Harley, there's quite a bit of stuff you have to do before you ride it regularly. Let's be honest. I like Harleys ish, but there is a lot of stuff you have to do on a Harley Davidson before you get that power before you can ride it. And the little like the ser seriously the level of comfort I feel while riding this, the curves. And it's that assisted, I don't know if that ride lead technology is turned on or if it's something you can turn off, but the way it felt, it, it, it's insane. I've never had a motorcycle really take my breath away from the factory. And I will work my butt off to get one. I, there's no words. Like, I don't even want to ride that rogue. Like, I know there's an Indian, I know the Challenger Challenge, you gotta ride the rogue glide too. I don't even want to ride it. I just know that thing, it's an, a dinosaur. It's archaic. It's living in the past of something that is far ahead. I don't know why people aren't jumping on this more often. This thing even smells nice. Like, it smells like you get a Harley, it smells like, you know. It, like, this thing just smells like a new car. I know that sounds weird, but like having that smell, like having it will smell it, but. But seriously, I mean, I cannot tell you in words how this bike rides and the comfort. And it sounds really good. It's got a growl to it. It doesn't have like a concussion like a Harley does, but it's got a growl to it. This thing is lightweight too. Like I'm, I'm really backing this in, but like honestly, you can do it one-handed. Gotta make sure I put this thing in neutral. Whoa. Okay, right there. I want you guys to all look at that. I put my foot down, put it in neutral, and it went into neutral. I didn't have to fight it. This bike is brand new, and I didn't have to fight it. I did not have to fight it at all. Another cool feature it does have. Locking saddlebags with a key fob. Locking gas cap, 100 watt audio system. And it rides like a dream. Yeah, turn that off. What am I doing with it? Why do I even have that? That's a fucking dinosaur. It is bullshit. That bike is bullshit. But for now, that's all I got, guys. I know it was a like you know a weird thing to see me posting Indian videos, but you know what? I'm tired of drinking the Harley Kool-Aid. I'm tired of having the wool pulled over my eyes, and I'm ready to experience motorcycles as a world, not just as a brand. So, as of now, I hope you have a great day, evening, night, morning, afternoon, tea, brunch, lunch, nightcap, midnight snack, bacon sandwich, crumpet, McGriddle, and remember to always ride for freedom. Goodbye.
I'm an abomination, product of Dr. Satan Made out of demonic gauges, basically a problem waiting So now that I'm on a mission, position for your possession Sitting in the shadows and ready to spring up into action The Ouija board you kids went, you decided not to listen Sat in a circle, drew a pentagram and holding hands with candles Slick, it's 3 a.m. somewhere, I'm thinking you can feel the air Get thick and feeling unprepared and sick and sitting Turning pale and sweating Probably the evilest anomaly, a medium invited to the property with apocalyptic offerings your conscious 